Hey friends, how are you? Victor Costa, Peace, Love & Muscles. Hope you're doing well. Uh, it's August 26, 2017. We've got the big fight tonight, Conor McGregor versus Floyd Mayweather. I'm saying this because, not because I'm so much of a, a fighting fan. Um, you guys wanted a vlog. So here's the vlog for August 26th. Um, from what I understand, the Vegas odds have Floyd Mayweather winning um, dr dramatically. There's a, a, a greater chance that he's going to win, obviously. Um, according to the odds. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a VIX Natural giveaway that is sort of proportionate to the odds in Vegas. So if Conor McGregor wins, I'm gonna give away a one hour Skype session with me. If Floyd Mayweather wins, I'm gonna give away a book. And the only thing you have to do is comment on the video uh, so that your comment shows up and we're gonna scroll through the names, just pick one, I'll pick one with my eyes shut and you will either be the recipient of the book or a one hour Skype session. For the book, you just have to live in the United States. Um, Skype session, um, you can live anywhere in the world, okay? So that said, so um, the giveaway is sort of a proportional story. And going along the vein of proportion, let's talk about proportion of the body because that's a really important thing and it's also a governor on progress. Let me explain to you what I mean. When I first started training, I would only do, well, I had a curl bar, right? And I had my sand weights and I would do my biceps. And I thought big arms meant big biceps. I only saw Arnold in magazines doing biceps. I never really saw him doing a tricep pushdown or anything. So I would just mimic what I saw. So I did get some progress, obviously in the beginning, even if you're doing things wrong in the beginning, the body gets stimulated and it responds and you get some progress. But I did that for many, many years without really assessing why my progress was kind of thwarted. Now looking back, it's so patently obvious about why. So it had to do with proportion. Now let me explain that to you. For every one of us, each one of us, we all have uh, Gray's Anatomy to rely upon. We have the Vitruvian Man, we have a charts, we have an idea that the body has certain proportions, right? For the arm, it's 33% uh, bicep, 66% triceps or so, right? One third, two thirds. And so the body is always trying to fight and maintain that evolutionary proportion. There's like a gravitational pull on maintaining that proportion. So there is an, an extent that you can push that margin a little bit. So maybe you get to 35% triceps, 35% uh, biceps, 36%. But think about how there is this pull to maintain the proportion of just the, um, the anatomy of a human being. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's part of your DNA. And so the body will not allow you to progress very far beyond certain limits as a result of that. So obviously, the key to bigger biceps is bigger triceps to maintain that proportion of two thirds to a third, right? So the body is always fighting pr for proportion. And sure, you'll see somebody that has a big chest uh, and they say, well, their chest is too big. Yes, but it'll only go a certain, uh, too big for their back or the rest of their body. But yes, you can push it to a degree, but there will be this fight at some point where the chest doesn't progress anymore because the other body parts are not accommodating as well. So I want you to keep that in mind. If there's a body part that you're, uh, keep working constantly and it's developed but it stops it's because everything around it is fighting back with you to maintain the general proportions of a human being and the evolutionary proportions so the key to getting that body part to progress is focusing on the things that you're not doing the body part supporting it the body part surrounding it so i hope this makes sense right Remember, there's this gravitational pull toward this proportion, um, this historical proportion, this DNA-coded proportion. And if you wanna progress, you're going to have to pay attention to that. So if you want bigger biceps, you have to ma maintain bigger triceps. It only makes sense. I've experienced this in my life. I wish I had just done triceps a little bit earlier. I wouldn't have been banging my head against fighting so hard about why things weren't working when it's so elementary, right? So anyway, keep that in mind, guys. Uh, peace, love, and muscles. I hope you're doing well. Don't forget to comment on the video, and please take care of yourself. Have a great day. Bye.